السلام عليكم ومرحبا واهلا وسهلا بكم في درس جديد. Peace and hello and welcome to a new lesson in the top Arabic vocabulary course. The way forward to improve your vocabulary um, through uh, useful conversation and uh, sentence building, as well as trying to read without vowels. Today's lesson is about a few um, shapes in Arabic. Al ashkal means shapes. Al ashkal, al ashkal al handasiya, geometric shapes. I just need you to focus on al ashkal shapes. And notice in Arabic, when we are speaking about um, general things, like if I want to say. Animals. In English, you would say animals without the animals, without you using the definite article. But in Arabic, let's say I'm speaking about uh, animals. Al hayawanat. So I'm adding al. I'm adding the definite article. I think that goes for Spanish, for example, as well. Uh, but in English, you wouldn't. However, just remember in Arabic, you will use al. Shakl is a shape, and the sha, the sound, is the same as you would start in English saying shape. So that's just a brain friendly trick for you. Shakl. So I'd like you to repeat at least every word three times after me. Pause the video if I'm going too fast. It's really important that you practice your speaking because if you're just listening, you're practicing your listening. If you're just reading, you're practicing your reading skills. And if you're just uh, writing, you're writing, but speaking is a fourth and obviously one of the most important skills. And if you don't do it uh, now, it's going to catch up with you later on at some point. Shakl. 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 Mumtaz. Ahsanto. Da'ira. 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 A circle. Da'ira. Now this is a noun and it means a circle. Da'ira. Da'ira. We have a hamza over here. Whenever you see the hamza, you have to vocalize it. Da'ira. Now with the round ta, obviously this is a ta. I'm not uh, pronouncing it as da'ira now uh, because I'm pausing. So when in pause, we just say da'ira, we do not pronounce the round ta. Unless there's a word after it in a sentence, then you would uh, pronounce it. But uh, just now, da'ira. And we're not doing case endings because we're not too worried about them. As I said, we're trying to learn Arabic the natural way for conversational flow. Murabba. 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 Now it might be a bit tricky to pronounce because we have the geminations over here, over the bas, so we have a double um, double letter. So mu rab ba. Mu rab ba. We can also split the word into uh, phonetic sounds. Mu rab. Actually, sorry, mu. Mu rab ba. So mu rab ba. Because we actually have over here a ba with sukun and another ba with the uh, fatha. So whenever you see the germination, it's a combination of the first letter will have the sukun and the second letter, whatever uh, vowel you see on the word. So mu rab ba. Mu rab ba. Does. And that's a square. And also with the shapes that start with uh, this letter, like murabba, mustatil, that could also mean, could be used as an adject adjective. So uh, I can say, uh, for example, um, the door is squarish or square in shape. So I can say, albabu murabba, for example, if I have a square door, albabu. Murabba. So the door is square. So over here, I'm, I'm using it as an adjective as well. 
مستطيل so مستطيل مستطيل so we have to separate it again into the um, phonetic sounds مستطيل so again we can separate it into the phonetic sounds مستطيل مستطيل together مستطيل مستطيل and it could mean rectangle or rectangular just as the shape uh, before so you can say الباب مستطيل so the door is rectangular let me write it down الباب مستطيل that is the door is rectangular in shape so it could mean a rectangle or rectangular. So you can use it as a noun or as an adjective. Remember the shapes that start with mu. A triangle, muthallath, muthallath, muthallath. Let's try and split the sound into the word into different sounds. Mu, thal. Less because we have the gemination over the lamb, so that will mean a lamb was with sukun and a lamb with fatha, muthallath. And that could mean a triangle or could mean triangular. So we could use it as a noun or as an adjective. For example, let's pretend I have somehow a triangular uh, door, al babu muthallath, al babu muthallath. So the door is triangular literally notice in arabic we do not have is so a nominal sentence is simply the door triangular so we don't have verb to be in the present tense at least najma a star najma now again we're not pronouncing the round that over here because we in pose so we're not saying najmat and we're not doing case endings now there's no other words after it, so just najma, najma. So we're pronouncing it over here uh, as in an ah, najma, a star. Havihi najma, this is a star. Hada hilal, hilal, a crescent. Hilal, notice the shape of the alif when it comes in conjunction with the lamb. It's like a dagger. So if I want to say la, don't do something, um, the alif is actually going to be in the middle over here like a dagger. So la, and sometimes you can see it written like that as well. So different uh, ways of writing, it's the same thing. Hilal, hada hilal. If I'm speaking about a masculine object, I'm going to use the demonstrative hada. So hada hilal, hada hilal. If I'm using uh, a feminine object or speaking about a feminine object, which normally a strong feminine sign is the round ta at the end, hadihi najma. Hadihi najma. For example, qalam. Uh, hada. Qalam, hada qalam, because it's a masculine noun. Um, hada kitab, hada kitab. However, if I have a feminine uh, object, for example, nadhara, uh, glasses, I'm going to say hadihi. Hadihi nadhara. Hadihi nadhara. And you can tell because of the round that at the end, and even though you cannot see it, if I have, hadn't written it, you couldn't see it, uh, but you can hear the a uh, sound, nadhara. So if I say, for example, a teacher, هذا معلم, but if I say هذه معلمة, هذه معلمة, you can hear the a uh, at the end. So you know that's a feminine noun. هذا مهندس, this is an engineer. هذه مهندسة, هذه مهندسة. Now you will know that I mean it's a female an engineer because of the a at the end. So let's go back to 
shapes. Hilal. Next one, Atali. Baydawi. Baydawi. Baydawi is oval. And you might know from food in Arabic food lesson that bayda, bayda is actually an egg. So baydawi is like you're saying eggish, kind of. So the yeah at the end is the yeah of attribution. Uh, just when you say, for example, Pakistan, Anna Pakistani, I'm Pakistani. So you're adding the yeah at the end as a suffix to say I'm Pakistani or America, American, Canada, Canadian. You're adding the suffix at the end. So in Arabic, the yeah of attribution, uh, you're attributing uh, the noun to another. So, uh, for example, by the we is being attributed to by the an egg. How does shaklu by the we? This shape is oval. How hada by the we? This is oval in shape. Qalb, a heart. Qalb, qalb. Just be mindful. It's not kalb. If you say kalb, that's a dog with the calf. So if you say ka, kan, <laughs> that's actually a dog with the calf. But over here it's ka, ka, qalb, and that's a heart, qalb. Let's review the shapes. Murabba, muthalath, mustatil, daira. Baydawi, and sometimes you will find it written as Baydawi, and that's fine. So there's a di dispute kind of about how it should be written. So both are okay. So just uh, left it here for you so you won't be um, surprised if you see it. Hilal, a crescent, wa najma, a star. Hada murabba. Can you help me with the right demonstratives? Hada muthallas. هذا مستطيل هذه هذه دائرة because of the round ta, the feminine sign at the end هذا بيضوي هذا هلال وهذه نجمة هذه نجمة ممتاز أحسنتم رائع Now I'm going to ask you to guess the shapes Can you guess the shapes please? ما هذا؟ ما هذا؟ هذا هلال أحسنتم رائع هذا هلال وما هذه؟ ما هذه؟ What's this؟ ما هذه؟ هذه نجمة رائع ما هذه؟ ما هذه؟ هذه دائرة أحسنتم هذه دائرة وما هذا؟ هذا الشكل بيضوي بيضوي أحسنتم ما هذا؟ ما هذا الشكل؟ What's this shape؟ هذا مربع أحسنتم هذا مربع وما هذا الشكل؟ هذا الشكل مستطيل مستطيل And you might know that uh, a table is طاولة uh, is, is starts with ta as well, a table. Tawila. So, and you might know the adjective um, tawil. Sorry for the, it's difficult to write with this um, thing over here. So, tawil. Tawil actually means uh, long, tawil. Tawila, a table, because it's a bit long and uh, rectangular in shape. So mustatil, something that is a bit elongated. It comes from the verb tawla, to be long. Muthallas, ma hada shakl? Ahsantum, I answered for you. Muthallas, hada muthallas. This is uh, a triangle or this is triangular. Ma hada, ma hada? Hada qalb, ra'a. Yes. Now, I'm going to ask you to read without vowel. اقرأوا 
بدون الحركات ريد بفاولز لو سمحتم بليز هلال ممتاز if I'm going too fast again pause نجمة ممتاز دائرة أحسنتم بيضوي ممتاز مربع مستطيل مثلث جميل جميل جدا أحسنتم beautiful قلب Now we're gonna play a game. So, مرحبا يا أصدقائي أنا البيت السعيد Hello my friends I'm the happy house سعيد means happy and you might know عيد سعيد happy عيد <laughs> So أنا البيت السعيد I'm the happy house You can help me find the shapes. I'm going to ask you, ما هذا الشكل? What's this shape? So, ما هذا الشكل? هذا هذا مثلث. ما هذا الشكل? هذه هذه نجمة. ما هذا الشكل? هذا هذا هلال. ما هذا الشكل? النافذة, the window. هذا أو هذه because it's a feminine noun هذه دائرة أحسنتم so we're going to use هذه because دائرة ends with the round تاء at the end so we're going to say هذه دائرة ما هذا الشكل؟ هذا مستطيل مستطيل This is a rectangle. ما هذا الشكل؟ الباب الباب مستطيل. أحسنتم. ما هذا؟ هذا قلب. أحسنتم. وما هذا؟ هذا مثلث. أحسنتم. وما هذا؟ هذا بيضوي. That's awful. أحسنتم. رائع. I think we've covered everything. So remember those that end with the round. are feminine, like دائرة أو نجمة. Now to say something is circular or round, because when we say دائرة, that's a noun and that's not an adjective. So let's say I want to say the door is round, for example. Let's just pretend. Let's just be creative. So الباب مستدير. The door is round. الباب مستدير أو النافذة. Now, النافذة to the window, we're going to say مستديرة. مستديرة. Because نافذة is a feminine noun, so the adjective in Arabic always follows the noun in terms of being masculine or feminine. So just a tip for you, if you want to um, describe a shape, whether it's being um, uh, round or, and so on, you can say النافذة. النافذة to مثلثة triangular مثلثة it's triangular أو مستطيلة النافذة مستطيلة it's rectangular in shape so notice that we're adding to the adjectives the round t at the end so that's just an additional tip if it's too much just leave it out no worries you can do it at a later on stage okay ما هذا الشكل هذا وهذه so we've done that can you read without the vowels now if I just take out the vowels can you read that أحسنتم ما هذا الشكل and that would be هذا and that would be هذه ممتاز now can you read let me just move my screen a bit ما هذا الشكل هذا مربع أحسنتم ما هذا الشكل؟ Can you read this word now? البيت مربع البيت So this is البيت أحسنتم ما هذا الشكل؟ ممتاز هذا مستطيل أحسنتم هذا مستطيل 
ما هذا الشكل؟ أحسنتم الباب الباب مستطيل ما هذا الشكل ممتاز هذا مثلث أحسنتم رائع ما هذا الشكل هذه نجمة أحسنتم see you're reading without vowels now ما هذا الشكل now we have to use the feminine demonstrative هذه ممتاز دائرة هذه دائرة أحسنتم رائع Now, try to read without vowels, completely without vowels. أحسنتم مربع. دائرة أحسنتم. مثلث أحسنتم. نجمة أحسنتم جيد جدا. قلب ممتاز. هلال رائع فينومينال بيضوي أحسنتم مستطيل جميل جدا Now my final challenge for you try to read this one Okay and I'm going to leave you with this screen and I'm going to say thank you شكرا لكم وفي أمان الله وحفظه ورعايته Pause the screen and try to read this uh, short paragraph for, for me. So that's my reading um, challenge for you. Well, shukran lakum and see you in the next video, inshallah.